first you need to configure the unit and there should be no changes to the options. Here you adjust until you get within two G's, have it stabilize between 100, 1, or 0, 1 or 0, 2 range can be in this point. Save and that is your program run. And you're ready to begin. To start your run, hit the next run. Accelerate to 20 miles an hour. An audio tone will sound when speed is reached. Hit the brakes firmly. Select your contaminant you've been driving over. Accept and do your next run. In this example, I'm only doing three tests. Normal runway test during winter operations requires nine. Here I'll put in the operator, initials. Every th test is time stamped to prevent, prevent fraudulent entries of the test, giving the airport management confidence each test is done correctly. If you wish to review the test, you can pull to the multi-screen and review all the tests in this particular case, I'd like to review the first test. And you can export that test into your report file. In this example, you'll be able to screen all the data with the percentage of the G-force measured, the date the test was performed, timed, and what was the contaminant. The rest of the items can be printed out and completed for the airfield manager.